<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's gonna pay attention today. <laughs> Pick up, tough guy. Uh, hello? Yes. Can I speak to Ken of Sean? <sighs> it's you again. Ooh. Yeah, it's me again, buddy. And man, ever since you made that Truth About LS Swaps video where you dissed me, yeah, I just wanted to let you know I didn't appreciate that video. And because you talked about LS Swaps, I unsubscribed. Duh. Okay. But whatever with that, bro, I just got something I gotta tell you. So, I've been watching the channel, and uh, I just wanna say- Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. You just said you unsubscribe. So, how have you been watching the channel? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't worry about all that, bro. Like, 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 don't, whatever. But I've been watching the channel, and I noticed something about your car that's not so perfect neither. Okay. Yeah. So, you got a brand new 91 notchback, woohoo. But then on your black 93, you got a Cobra badge on an LX. And now I want to know what makes you so much better than me. You know what, bro? I'm not better than you. But the thing that's going to make me better than you right now is this right here. Wait, 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 wait. Hello? Hello? No, no, no. You're not. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, you have totally ruined the car. It's a notch bag, bro. Why do you have a freaking Cobra emblem on it? Alright, what's happening everybody? It is your boy Kendall Sean with Blue Oval Media. And uh my buddy that always wants to call me. He's he's a very interesting character. Um and yeah, today I'm going to talk about one of the most controversial things that happens to me all the time as it relates to this car right here. And it's about Fox body emblems and the wrong emblems being on the car. Now, before I get heavy into it, make sure you check out the brand new website, blueovalmedia.com, to get your Bleed For Bluefest t shirts, to get your Blue Oval Media hoodies, and to get your Blue Oval Media t shirt. Man, go to the website right now, check it out. All type of goodies on there. More information about Bleed For Bluefest is about to get added to the website. And so, all things Blue Oval Media will be on the website. So, make sure you check it out. So, on Instagram and a lot of times on YouTube, you know, some of the comments that I get about this car right here um, is is very entertaining. Uh, and, and the reason it's entertaining to me is because, you know, a lot of these people that actually have comments or whatever they have to say about my car, your car, whatever, don't even have a car, let alone they could have a car. But, you know, it's just something about yours that just pisses them off and a lot of times with mine it's this emblem or this badge right here the cobra badge and it's funny to me because you don't even understand why it's on the car and if i really get into detail which i am going to do on this video about why this is on the car because i'm just going to clear it up one time then after this i really don't care so let me make this clear to everybody <laughs> I build my car the way that I want to and I do not care if you like it or not. And a lot of us will be so much happier in life if we didn't care about everybody's opinion about some of the stuff that we did. But yeah, I build it the way I want to and that's just what it is. So the question is, why did I put the Cobra badge on it? So let me make this clear. If you know anything about emblems, Mustangs and all of that, you know that in 1993, the 93 Cobra had, an, do you know, the Cobra badge on it. But on one side, it faces one way, and on the other side, it faces the opposite direction. So for all the people that comment on mine, I actually have O3 Cobra badges on it. Is it an O3 Cobra? No. But what's inside of it? Let's take a look. Right. Terminator motor. And so for me, you see this inside the car. And this is a representation. That right there is a representation of this right here. So let me explain it just a little bit further. So I don't wanna 
drive around with a 5.0 badge on the side of the car because that's not the motor that's inside of the car i know back in the day you know we didn't always call these things fox bodies it used to be called five o's but the the new mustangs got five o's in them you know so this is not a five o and, and the reality of it is that it's not a 302 motor it's a 4.6 but guess what i'm not putting a 4.6 badge on the car neither i'm putting the badge for that motor that correlates with that motor on the car now a lot of people are like well but it's not a cobra though okay it's not a 03 it's not it's not a 93 i get it but the terminator motor tell me what badge came with the terminator motor they only were out for two years and the reason that that badge is on the car is because of the terminator motor that's really it i am not trying to impersonate a cobra a 93 cobra because i know that this car is not a 93 cobra man like for real i know that which is why i put 03 badges on it not 93 i know that this car is not that and so yeah i'm only explaining this right now because i felt like this would be a pretty cool video to kind of talk about that but yeah that is the reason why i did it that way and it just is what it is so i've seen other people with cobra badges on it they put cobra body kits on their car and the cobras only came in three colors in 93 and 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 i see cars that are painted different colors and things of that nature do you go off on them <laughs> you know it's just more so man like i think a lot of times we just judge this a little bit too much or if it's not your thing i get it that's cool but man i don't like to criticize too many people in their cars you know even like even you ls swap guys like i necessarily don't necessarily criticize you i mean it's just not what i would do and so it's cool and i get it i talk about left swap so sometimes i might have to take flack for this they're gonna terminate a badge being or this this cobra being on the side of my car and you know you, you you get what you put out at times and so i don't necessarily have a problem with that because i'm not insecure about what i have built and what i have put together and my encouragement to you all is that man don't be insecure when somebody has something to say about how your car looks why you did this or why you did that because man there are so many opinions about what you should do with your vehicle how you should man i've gotten i've told i've had people all the time tell me oh man your wheels are ugly oh, okay man you're you're man you just put those new seats in the car man they're terrible oh man you messed up the, the, the fox body by putting the digital dash in it's like you would never ever get a project done and finished if you listen to what everybody has to say about your car and so for me i get it you know there are just certain badges i probably wouldn't put on the car neither but that's just me though i don't have no problem with putting the daggone terminator cobra badge on the side of this car because there's a terminator motor in it and that's just how i feel about it and so for whatever it is that you all are building this year man i pray that you don't allow every all the critics <laughs> to stop you at this point in the game because it's a whole lot of them and they you'll never uh be satisfied but man i'm almost this car is almost about to be done running again okay and man like i'm not going to trip because i don't have uh, i mean i don't have a 5 i'm not gonna put a 5.0 badge on it that's not what's in the car i mean another thing let me let me show you another thing i don't have on the car so obviously this is the trunk and you see the Ford emblem here. And what is this? An LX? And what don't you see on the left hand side? For all of my Fox body people, what goes right there? LX. And I don't have it. So, yeah. So, did I ruin the car by not having um, that badge on there? Like, so now is the car all of a sudden only worth $400 because we put this badge on it all of the money and time and effort because that emblem is on there does it really devalue the car like that if so if i was listed for sale right now then do i say you know what because that badge is on there now let me go ahead and sell it for 500 dollars, even though i got tons of money in it let me just go ahead and sell it for, come on man let's just grow up for real seriously <laughs> so man like i i just really wanted to like just talk about these emblems man like i get it i understand for you purists that's pure to the heart i understand but a lot of you all don't even own mustangs let alone cars and have a lot to say about what it is but i get it some guys are just purists and i don't knock you for being just a straight up purist some of you all don't even like modifying these cars you're like oh if it's not bone stock 220 horsepower it's not a fox body man sit down please <laughs> i wouldn't have blue over media if this car was there going 220 horsepower i can just tell you that right now nobody will watch this channel nobody with a 220 horsepower 93 i wouldn't even have enough videos to make if that was the case so bottom line all i'm trying to tell you all is build your car the way that you want want to put what do you i got a cobra grill insert right there yes 
and it's not a cold. I don't care. <laughs> I like Cobra Grill inserts on my red Mustang, on the red notchback. I just ordered a Cobra Grill insert. It's gonna be put on that car as well. Now, I'm probably not gonna have any badges on the side of it because for the motor that I'm getting, there are no badges. And so I'll just leave it at that. But, and if there was, would I probably do it? I don't know, it all depends. Like if the motor comes out of an F-150, I'm not gonna put an F-150 badge on it. That's just, it just don't make sense for me. But that did, and so that's why I did it. And so, man, that's where I'm at. I really just wanna tell you all, enjoy your builds. <laughs> man, do what you need to do to enjoy your build and not allow these people to, you know, comment or, or tell you that. I mean, I literally have people that are just like, like ridiculous with some of this stuff, but I just want to encourage you all to enjoy your build. And so, man, on the on the next video, we're going to be tackling this car again. And I got some other stuff that's coming up. Bleed for Blue Fest is coming up and we got apparel all on Blue Over Media. So, man, in the comment section below, what are some of the things that you all have dealt with that people have said about your vehicle? I want to hear what other people have to say about the comments that people had about their vehicle. But enjoy it no matter what stage you are in. So. Man, thank you all for watching another video. It's your boy, Kenneth Sean with Blue Over Media. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And man, tell somebody about the channel, man. I really do appreciate you all. It's your boy, Kenneth Sean, and I am out.